It's the Ides of March all day, and these historical events occurred on March 15th, the Ides of March, this date in history. Beware the Ides of March. In 44 BC, Julius Caesar is stabbed to death by Brutus, Cassius, and several other Roman senators on this date in Rome. To Brute, then falls Caesar. In 1493, Christopher Columbus returns to Spain after his first voyage to the New World. There he is. In 1781, the Battle of Guilford Courthouse, right near my sister's house. British troops under Cornwallis defeat American forces, but their heavy losses led to a ceding of territory and a strategic loss. In fact, some of the British members of parliament said, hey, if Cornwallis has any more victories like he had at Guilford Courthouse, we're gonna lose all of our troops. Nathaniel Green is a bad Speaking of the Continental Army in 1783, in an emotional speech in Newburgh, New York, George Washington asks his officers not to support their conspiracy, preventing the threatened coup. The troops and officers had not gotten paid for their service to the country. Washington comes in who had never received any pay for his services and pleads with them. This is not the kind of conduct worthy of an officer of this army. Um, and he has something else he wants to read to them. In that moment, he can't read it. His hands are shaking, and he needs to take out glasses because his eyesight has gotten so poor over the course of the war. And he tells his men, not only have I become gray, but blind in the service of my country. And as tears are falling down his eyes, they start crying, and it just melts any thoughts they had of having this coup. A perfect example of Washington being the leader and knowing what to say at the right time and fortune kind of smiling on him during that time. In 1820, Maine is admitted as the 23rd State of the Union. In 1930, the first streamlined submarine of the U.S. Navy, the USS Nautilus, is launched. Not to be confused with the first nuclear sub, the USN Nautilus. This is the USS Nautilus. Different boat, different skipper. Speaking of the Navy, in 1947, John Lee is appointed as the first black commissioned officer in the U.S. Navy. Speaking of the armed services, in 1955, the U.S. Air Force unveils a self-guided missile. In 1971, chat rooms make their debut on ARPANET, which was the forerunner of the internet. And in fact, my father had an ARPANET address, because he was special. He was doing cool stuff with me. Speaking of the birth of the internet, in 1985, on this date, the first internet domain name, Symbolics.com, is registered. It's just all coming together, isn't it? Then in sad news, on this date, 2018, the toy chain Toys R Us announces it will close all its stores after filing for bankruptcy. Now you wanna be a Toys R Us kid? I don't think so. What, do you wanna be broken dead? You won't be broken dead, especially when it comes to a battle of wits, you'll have the victory when you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe, plus check out those comments for even more March 15th history. The Ides of March are upon you.